<clears throat> tell you what, this is a ball game that uh, long time coming for Jackson State, you know, and, and uh, these guys, they have been working hard for the last two months, and I think the last time we had a win back in September, and, uh, you know, Coach Asbury, he, you know, he does a fine job with his football team here, and so we just felt like we had to come down here and win, win a ball game, you know, knew it was going to be a hard fall game, and like I told the guys, like we've been talking about all the time, is that we cannot go and beat ourselves in this ball game because that's the extra thing that we've been doing all year is beating ourselves. And uh, it seemed like we're at the end of the ball in the third quarter, it seemed like that's about to happen again, you know. But unfortunately, we said fortunate enough we were able to overcome some of the things that was happening in the game, you know. Defense played their hearts out. Defense really played. Uh, offense got to. Do a little bit better in third down situation. That's what we've been having a lot of problem with third down. So, you know, when you get when you make your third down, that means that you keep the defense sitting on the sideline. And uh, the thing that we've been doing is keeping our defense on the field because we ain't been making third down situation. You know, so that's the thing that we got to really work on and really got to work on it real fast. Coach, just talk about, you know, was it a uh, an injury situation or guys who were, who were still trying to adjust to the system or just, once they got in the conference play, things just, ball just didn't bounce right for them? Well, you know, the, that's probably some of the things that was happening, you know, then uh, once we got in the conference play, you know, like a lot of things that was happening, like the coach was probably giving them too much and we had to back back, we had to kind of water the uh, game plan and stuff down because like I said, you know, when you got a new system and uh, it takes time, you know, like I said, it always takes time when you got a new, you know, coaching staff and all that coming in and everybody trying to field each other. And, uh, you know, football is a process. And uh, no matter where you go, it's always a process. And everybody always talk about, you, you got to get your guys in. So they everybody start buying in your guys. But I think the guys that we have on this football team, I think they bought in with what we're trying to do and what we're doing. And they're working their butts off. Coach, just today's game, a lot of things were – a lot, of, a lot of football was left on the field, basically either uh, turnovers, from guys not being able to hold on to the ball. It just describe from what you saw on the sideline, that, uh, that they kind of like just kept it that way, or, or, or corrections that going well, to you, what, you know, like, the, you know, uh, <laughs> I know like our guys, you know, like uh, I know we had two running backs from the ball and the quarterback get the ball knocked out of his hand real easy, you know, like I said, this has happened pretty much all season with us. You know, the quarterback started running, I mean, running with the ball. He got to realize he got to put that ball away because everybody going to try to knock the ball out, you know. And so he just run with a lack of daisy. He just got to make sure when he started running with the ball, started scrambling with the ball, he got to start tucking that ball away and put it away. Fourth quarter, it seemed like some sense of urgency was coming on. And the guys realized, okay, this is the last game. We got to, something's got to happen. Well, it's not our last game, but it's next to the last. And uh, like I said, we wanted to make sure, you know, we go back home because it's a long trip. It's a long trip back to Jackson, Mississippi, you know, and you, and you lose a ball game, man. It, the trip is even longer, you know. So, but uh, we was fortunate enough to come out with it. And uh, like I said, I was just glad to see us come into this ball game and not really beat ourselves on turnovers. And we had, we had some turnovers, but uh, I guess we overcome a lot of them. If you can, just talk about the last four minutes of the game when uh, TSU was driving, trying to, to get their last touchdown, and then, you know, that, that, that stop, that fourth down stop. Just what it meant to, to just get that and then just, just finish the game and, and victory. Well, I'll tell you what, uh, my defense coordinator, he, he, he has done a great job, you know, the last four or five ball games. He put guys in situation to make the plays, and, you know, he'd be out there screaming and hollering, trying to get guys set in spots and stuff because, like I said, a lot of guys don't line up where they're supposed to be. He tried to get them lined up where they're supposed to be, you know, but uh, he got them lined up pretty good, and uh, he was able to make that big stop there at the last play, which was huge for that fourth down. Is there anything else that you can think of that I hadn't asked about Jackson State football this season and going into the offseason with him? Uh, well, well, I tell you, you know, like I try to keep telling everybody, you know, like I said, when you got a new system and it's, you know, it takes time to really uh, get your system in and, you know, you hear everybody saying that you need to go get your players and bring your players in. 
But I feel like the players that we have here, I feel like they're my players too because, like I said, they bought into what we were trying to get done. But just unfortunate, we just didn't get the things done the way we wanted to get it done. Because, like I said, when you have turnovers, when you have penalties that really beat you, because nobody really beat us, beat ourselves pretty much every ball game we played this year. All right, Coach, thank you. Thank you. Thank you.